G'day and welcome to this week's video. My name is Robert Gowdy from Consortium Private Wealth and this week we're going to have a quick chat about a business that we've followed and, uh, and liked for many years and uh, is widely held across our uh, client base and that's uh, Ripe which is based in Sydney and ran by Dominic O'Halloran. So they came out with a, um, I suppose the third quarter update to the, the end of March. So it's really looking at the uh, the previous nine months. The results they've had are really, really fantastic and in line with what we've seen in the past. They are taking on around 16,000 new Office 365 subscriptions every month. So that's been logged in for quite some time. Total revenue growth is up 15%, so over, over about $35 million over the last nine months compared to the corresponding year prior. And uh, profitability is up around 30% up to, yeah, close to um, yeah, $13.2 million. And they're actually provided some guidance that for the end of, end of this financial year, that uh, profit should be, uh, net profit should be up over $18 million. And that's a bit above what their previous guidance was. One of the conversations I've had with clients many times in the past, past because the share price hasn't probably grown as much as what we may have hoped. We've bought it extensively over the last three and four years. It's a small cap, it's a business that has no debt and has cash in bank. And they've been acquiring businesses um, constantly over that time. These are complementary businesses that they can add to their suite of products for their clients. In addition to expanding out into different countries, and uh, the notable one there is the uh, joint, joint venture in Japan, which they own 80% of, and that's taken a certain amount of capital to uh, kick that business off in Japan. Now, some of the questions I get from clients is that, geez, it's really not performing, and yeah, personally, I purchased a lot of the business during uh, uh, last year's crash, and yeah, I was hoping perhaps the business may have done better than, than what it's done over the time. But when you look at the business, it's doing exactly what we hope it would. It has no debt, cash in bank, it's got growing earnings, and a lot of this money is reoccurring earnings. So for me, this gets down to one of patience that we continue to let the management do what they do well. They've got skin in the game, the same as us as investors. So we let them to continue to do what they've done and that's continue to build this business and grow the uh, ongoing recurring revenue, which is a fantastic way to you know, build a business with recurring revenue. So patience will win out uh, in time. Now, clearly we're not as uh, at the all time highs where it was uh, some years ago. Uh, you know, probably a year and a half ago, it up, got up to $3.10. It's now down to uh, $1.80 or thereabouts. Obviously a bit of a spike after this last uh, res uh, report, but yeah, everything is in line with what we hope. The business is growing beautifully, profit is growing. At the end of the day, it is the growing revenue and profitability, which will ultimately value the, um, the business, not the impatience of investors. Thanks for listening. It's a story of, of patience and that's what the share market lacks and what investors lack mostly. So continue to um, research and understand your businesses and that will make, you, make sure you're comfortable to hold these businesses for the long term. Thanks for listening. We'll catch you next week.